200 experts from Great Britain and the EU have crouched in day-long video conferences and knew from the start they couldn't agree on Brexit. The power to compromise is lacking. To be honest, it could have just been left out these four rounds of negotiations between David Frost and Michel Barnier and their people over the future relationship after the divorce called Brexit. The EU Commission's chief negotiator Michel Barnier and his British colleague David Frost have no chance to getting closer in terms of content because so far neither of them had real power to compromise. David Frost gets his framework of course from Downing Street number 10 and Michel Barnier gets it from the EU Commission and they get it from the EU Council. And because of Brexit ideology Boris Johnson just has one goal. On December 31st the UK must be finished with the EU once and for all. No more transition phase, no more temporary stay in the single market, no more, stay, no, more, no more temporary stay in the customs union and no more post-Brexit negotiations in the coming year. Just out with or without an agreement. The chance that Boris Johnson will ask for an extension to extend the transition period to have more time to negotiate between or with the EU is at around zero. And to be honest, whatever is written there, that is also now clear to the EU Commission. And so is Chancellor Angela Merkel, who will be setting the tone for the Brussels stage from next month on, because Germany then will hold the EU presidency for the coming six months, until the 31st of December 2020. There is still a chance for a mini deal, but only if London and Brussels take the opportunity that is presenting itself from February that, for example, Boris Johnson and Angela Merkel try to find a solution seriously until October, or I would even say the end of September after that ratifying could be really difficult. This could be done by a minimum consensus in certain areas. The automotive and aerospace industries, the financial sector and EU fishing rights in British territorial waters. And I named these last two right after another because we are talking about negotiations. And one thing is important for Boris Johnson that British financial services have access to the EU single market. And that is not automatic for third countries to have access to the EU single market with services. And on the other side, the fishing, that's not a thing that's important to Germany, but it's important for Denmark, France, Belgium. And so, of course, the EU is there to protect all 27. And so Germany has to fight for that as well, even if it's not in their priority list of interests. With North Sea herring, mackerel and blue whiting, Brussels is ready to compromise with the proud fishing nation of Great Britain. If, in return, the United Kingdom undertakes never to deliver genetically engineered food, hormone meat and chlorinated chicken to the single market, and that means from the United States, because if you read the position of the US government on the trade negotiations between the USA and the UK, you will see that it is their goal to get this stuff into the UK. Even if Boris always says we won't do that. Guys, let's wait and see. Because there we are at the problem again. The UK can only get the key to the EU single market if they adhere to its rules. And even the chance for Angela Merkel, of course in cooperation with France, and at the last minute will prevent a completely chaotic end of the transition period, is still very tiny. But, and I really have to say this as the German right now, even if Boris grinds his teeth, Angela Merkel is able to do that. To use an adapted phrase from President Barack Obama, which I now appreciate much more after I saw a bullet on him, I have to say, yes, she can. And if you now want to know more about European politics from a German point of view, I put my next video in the end screen. Click and enjoy. I'll see you there. Viel Spaß!